Welcome back to the last example for chapter five. In this example, we have a new piece of physics that we are dealing with, which is called Hooke's Law. So it's right here. And in our um, lecture video, we introduced the idea of Hooke's Law. So what we're trying to do is to make sure we understand how this equation is used. So first of all, when we hang the mass here, we want to, to think about the forces that are acting on that mass. So we're thinking about this end of the string as, or end of the spring as being the object that we're drawing um, a free body diagram for. And so we have gravity pulling down, the gravity of the one kilogram mass, so mg, one times 9.8, 9.8 newtons. And if that were the only force acting here, that, that mass would fall. So instead, it is currently being balanced by the spring force. So that spring force is K times delta X, the change in um, height, where that delta X here is what it used to be compared to what it is now. So we're told that it stretches 15 centimeters, and that becomes our delta x. We need to use standard units, so that is 0 0.15 meters when we um, do the unit conversion. So right now we have that this is k times 0 0.15. Because this mass is now no longer moving, in part a, so we've drawn the free body diagram. And then we use our standard F net equals MA equation. We're looking in the Y direction here. And the acceleration in the Y direction is 0. We're not moving. With that in mind, then, we have the spring force pointing up minus gravity pointing down, and that equals zero. So we have 0 0.15 times our unknown spring constant K minus 9.8 equals zero. We'll add 9.8 to both sides, and we get 0 0.15 K equals 9.8. We'll divide both sides by 0 0.15. And so K is going to equal 65.3 newtons per meter because the 9.8 was newtons and the 0.15 was meters. So this is our spring constant K. For part B, we are saying now, because we know K, we now want to use our understanding of the spring force to figure out how much we will stretch if our force is 8 pounds. But we are going to have to change that pounds into newtons. So there are 4.45 newtons per 1 pound. And so this amount of pounds is going to be 35.6 newtons. So this is saying if we have 35.6 newtons of spring force, and we know that our spring constant is 65.3 for this particular spring, what is our delta x? How much stretch are we going to have? And so all we have to do for the math is just multiply 65.3 on both or divide 65.3 on both sides. Because this question is really not about practicing the math. It's about making sure we understand what all of these different um, ideas for spring force and for spring constant, what they mean. So in this case, it would be 0 0.54 meters. So in order for this particular spring to exert an 8-pound force, we have to stretch it over half a meter, so um, almost, almost 2 feet. So with this particular spring, we might think of if we've ever had a slinky toy, those can extend quite a long way without exerting much of a force. 
So a slinky has a much smaller spring constant than this one, than this particular spring involved. If we think instead about um, the shocks on a car or the springs that are used to um, potentially stop a runaway uh, train, those are not going to be um, expanding or contracting by over half a meter. They will have a significantly larger spring constant. So if we see example problems, um, we want to make sure we recognize that the spring constant, the k value, can be a wide range of values from very small numbers for things like slinkies to extremely large numbers, thousands of um, newtons per meter for industrial springs that really aren't meant to be squishing and um, expanding by tens of centimeters, things like that. So although this particular um, example is not, uh, not very extensive math, there are several key pieces of the physics involved that I want to make sure we understand. So um, make sure to review this one and ask questions in office hours if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, this is the official end of Chapter 5, uh, and so we will see you in the Chapter 6 videos. Bye for now.